Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. Today we're going to create a user list uh, project and it will contain a component that has three states uh, and the component shows the user online status like online, idle and offline. So first uh, create a new project in React Studio. I already have a project here. It's an empty project. And uh, let's start by adding some content to the first screen. So uh, I just drag a fixed text block here and make it full width. Just click the left and right and zero points from left and right. And uh, alignment will be centered. And I just type users. So this is the headline for the page. I also select the headline styles from the text settings and perhaps let's use a custom color this red looks okay and uh, then we're going to start building the list so first we need some data I already have here a data sheet you can create a new data sheet by just clicking add sheet and selecting the sheet and start adding the columns and and rows but I already have have some mock-up data here so we're going to use this. Uh, this data contains just list of some random users uh, with an email, last name, first name, and this available column uh, which contains numbers from 0 to 2. So this will be the uh, data for, for the component showing the, st the status. 0 means online, 1 means idle, and 2 means in this case, two means offline. Obviously, this value could be anything. And then there is an avatar image here. So for the list, we need a component uh, that will be the will be representing the one item in the list. So click add component, then I call this user item and double click it. And uh, yes, let's add a background. I make it a little bit wider and then we can start adding some elements. Uh, user has an image, so I just drag an image here. I make this, uh, the image was square, so I put the size 30 by 30 points. So the image will be always uh, square. And uh, user has an email address and first names, for example. So let's add a couple text fields here. This will be the user uh, first name. And uh, another one, uh, this will be the email address. And I guess we have the have the user item already done, ready. Oh yes, we need, let's add some styling. So the first name will be headline and we can add a nice red color here. Or, well, I'll just stick with the red. And uh, uh, well, the, uh, the item is ready now. Uh, we need to just connect this to the data. So let's start that by selecting the image here, go to data tab and uh, I guess in the uh, yeah the image file was column was called avatar. Then we have first name and email. So image will come from avatar column and first name. Well, the text will come from first name and email was just email. And now we have three properties for this component, avatar, first name and email. And uh, then we need to add the list element. Go to main screen, just drag the list. And uh, I guess it's, it should be full screen, uh, full width. So just tick the left and right from the alignment. Then go to the element and select the component. That will be the uh, item in the list. And I select the user item, 
And after that we need to select the data source, which will be the data sheet we created. Here is the user data. And now we have the list of users and the data is already binded. Uh, it doesn't look good on mobile narrow phone size, so let's add a select the list element and change some settings here. Uh, number of columns for the narrow phone, I think one is okay. Wide phone, we could have two columns and narrow tablet, three and white tablet. I, well, the tree looks okay on both. And then we can just check how it looks on browser. And here we have the user list in the browser. Uh, this is how it will look uh, on the phone. And uh, in the wider in the tablet size it will be a grid. And now uh, let's go to the beef which will be the uh, component showing the uh, online status of the user. So click the project map and add a component. Click add component. And let's, you can call this anything but I call it and double click it. Uh, now we don't need a background for the component. I guess this is a good size for a component. And uh, let's start by adding a drawing an ellipse here. I will draw a circle uh, by just clicking uh, the shift at the same time so it will stay as a circle and uh, change the color just double click the layer and select shape here and color here and for the online we're going to use a green so this will represent the online and then we can just copy and uh, paste or duplicate this uh, for the idle and offline so command D duplicates the element call this idle this will be offline And it would be nice to have a text here also. I just drag a text element here. And, uh, I, uh, I put this element to the foreground group so it, it's not scrollable, obviously. I place it there. And I type it there online. It looks pretty okay. Just change the name. So here we have the online text. And now uh, let's start adding the states. So we're, we're going to have a three states. So click add state and add state. So we have three states here. And we'll start uh, creating the states by tracking the elements to the states. So the first state it's already ready. State has uh, just green circle and text called online. And for the second one, this is the eye color of the circle to yellow. Okay. And for the offline, obviously something red. That looks pretty okay. And then we have the text still missing, so I'll just duplicate this element and, and drag it to the idle and change the, the text. And we're going to do the same thing for the offline, just duplicate the element and drag it to the last state and it will have a text offline. Okay, we have a component ready. It has three states online, idle, and offline. 
then and this is where we want to show the, the status component the project map place it anywhere I think I will place it on top of everything and just put text uh, text there and I'm going to move these two fellows here uh, so there we have a list element that shows the first name avatar image email and the components showing the status so currently the component state doesn't change as you can see it's all always green so that's why we need to do some magic uh, here go to select the component and uh, go to data and here we have the property for component state in this case uh, the state comes from available uh, uh, from the data sheet and from the available column and uh, to connect that you simply select the component go to data and type in the name of the column and to make it work we need a little bit scripting here uh, the script will be just uh, changing the text value uh, to a numeric value so it's just parse int here and now it should work if we go to user list it already works so it changes the uh, column component state based on the data in the data sheet so for Walter we have the availability data was 2 which means uh, offline it was the third uh, state the state starts from 0 so it's 0 1 and 2 not just available states and for Sara we had we have here 0 here so it should show online for Sara and looks online here then we can just preview this in browser so here we have the user list I think we could add a one fancy thing here is just uh, just to make it look even nicer I guess uh, let's add a animation for the for the uh, avatar image or, or perhaps we add it for the uh, this component here this uh, online offline idle status so just select the component select the circle go to interact and here we have some animation triggers this is uh, uh, still under construction, but it's it's already working. There's one animation or two animations available So click the plus sign and when enter screens, which means like when the uh, the element is shown in the screen and What's the action? It will be fade in so this will be fade In when 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 it's shown on the page and do the same thing for text when enter screen fade in and there are some bunch of values here that you can like a delay I'll just put a uh, 0 0.5 0 0.1 delay here and duration slow change the same to circle and now we should have a fade in animation uh, for this component we can try it in a browser again so if I refresh the page you see this fading animation for the online status or offline status or idle status component. Thank you for watching this and I'm um, hoping to see you in, uh, in our Slack channel or uh, send us a message uh, through email, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I will attach this pro project file uh, to the description of the, this video so you can download it and test it.
uh, on your own React Studio.